So the question here is, it's from uh, Katie from the UK. Finally, just wanted to say thank you. What you're doing is fantastic and that you make so much sense to me. Thanks. I used to heavily restrict my calories, which led to binge and purge in cereals, bread, pizza, and putting a bit of weight, so I'm really wanting to lose it. So I've changed my lifestyle to 811, but still eating some cooked starches, but wanting to lose weight. I know you say to eat as many carbs and fruit as you want, but an 811 book says that a 130-pound woman should eat around 1,500 calories a day. I run for about 45 minutes a day, but want to lose weight, so I'm confused as how many calories you should be eating. You and Doug Graham's advice and calories seem to conflict. Can you please clear this up for me? Your true inspiration, not just food-wise, but life in general. Cheers. I live in the UK. I'm not really happy or excited by things here, so I've decided to take a year out to come to Australia. Bad choice. But the things you've said make so much sense to me. If you feel depressed, it's your body's way of making you make a change, and that's what I'm going to do. Amazing you being Harley. Cheers. Katie. Okay, let's tackle that one at a time because it's a, got a few questions in there. So here we have heavily restricted my calories, which led me to binge and purge on cereals, bread, pizza, and put on a bit of weight. Well, here's the thing. Cereals can be high fat or they can be low fat. Bread can be a high fat or it can be a low fat. Pizza can be very high fat or it can be low fat. What do I mean? Cereal, if you just have rice, which is a cereal, or cornflakes, if you just have rice or cornflakes, they're very low fat. But if you add dairy to them, they become high fat. If you add cream to them or whatever, they become high fat. Also, a lot of packaged cereals contain a lot of sodium, so if you're eating a lot of salt with your cornflakes, which they're added into it, then if you're not sweating that salt out from vigorous activity like running and ra racing and stuff like that, then you're going to store all that sodium as fluid retention. And you won't gain, gain an ounce of fat, but you'll gain all these pounds and pounds of fluid retention which look and feel the same as fat. So you can think, oh, I'm putting on fat. But you're not putting on a gram of fat, but you can literally store 20 pounds of fluid retention, as an extreme example there, 20 pounds of fluid retention, and think, oh, I'm 20 pounds overweight, so then you calorie restrict, and then it just everything just starts falling apart. And it's the same with bread. You can have bread, which is bread and jam, low fat, but you can put bread with butter, with salami, with cheese, pastrami, dead chickens, whatever. You can make it a high fat bread. And that's why people have issues around bread because they normally add a lot of fat to it. Again, Bread normally has a lot of salt added to it, so you can store fluid retention. And pizza, I mean, everyone knows pizza, you can have a meat lover's pizza, or you can have a McDougal style, Mary McDougal, low fat, no fat pizza, which is like, you know, a, a two grams of fat for the whole pizza. Whole family size pizza, two grams of fat versus 300 grams of fat for a meat lover's cheese crust pizza. So we've got two grams versus 300 grams. So when we say cereals, bread, and pizza may be fat, then that's really inaccurate because they do not make anybody fat, but the salt that they normally accompany can cause fluid retention, which looks as fat, and the fat that normal people normally eat with the breads, the cereals, the pizzas will definitely get stored as fat because we know the fat you eat is the fat you wear without exception in the long run. So I've changed my lifestyle to 8 one but still includes some cooked starches. One includes weight, again, We've got the sodium retention thing there, so if you're eating a lot of salt and you're not sweating it out, I'm not talking Bikram yoga where you're breathing, breathing in everyone else's farts, I'm talking sweating where you're hiking up the mountains, you're riding your bike to work, you're chasing the kids around the playground, I'm talking that sort of sweating. Vigorous, getting the heart rate up and sweating, just you're having fun. No exercise, never exercise, just have fun with a high heart rate and, and have it fun, because when you make something fun, you take care of motivation, tell you what. I know you say to eat as many carbs and fruit as you can, but in the 811 book it says 130 pound woman should eat around 1,500 calories a day. Well, that's, we're sort of generalizing there because the 130 pound woman might be living my lifestyle where she can just sit on the beach all day and just make a few YouTube videos and blah, 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 and not do much at all. Or the 130 pound woman might have three kids to look after and she's a single mother or she's you know, trying to change her lifestyle around or she's selling the house, looking for a place to live. And a 130 pound woman with responsibility trying to eat 1,500 calories a day, <laughs> that's a recipe for mental and physical disaster. That's a recipe for stimulant dependence. Now, there's more to the question because I know Doug never recommends starving yourself. So, the 1,500 calories for a woman, I, I don't believe that because nobody's going to do anything. You, you, someone eating 1,500 calories a day, that's, that's, that's enough maybe for a six year old child. A six year old child whose responsibility is to play with Nintendo or to look for caterpillars in the garden. That's, 
you know, so if you're six years old, 1,500 calories a day is I mean, enough for you. So, and another example is they induced clinical starvation in people, putting them on 1,570 calories. Men, grown men, adult men, on 1,570 calories a day, and that induced clinical starvation. So no sex drive, no motivation, just like they lost up to 90% of their fitness. So that's, you know, restricting calories is never the answer. You never have to restrict calories if you're eating the right foods. What are the right foods? Fruit, high carbohydrate plant foods. Fruit being the absolute best, sweet, sugary fruit. Dates and bananas being the best foods humans can eat. Failing that, steamed potatoes, steamed rice, things like that will suffice. Low salt. If you want to get more fluid retention, eat more salt. If you want to look fatter and more bloated, eat more salt. If you want to slim down, cut the salt down. We know that for heart disease, low sodium diet is best. And you, this person, Katie, says she's running at 45 minutes a day. Fuck. 45 minutes a day. That's Olympic distance running training. That Literally, that's 45 minutes a day. I've, I've never ran 45 minutes a day in my life. Ever. Ever. And I'm running sub three hours marathon, sub 35 for 10K. I've never ran 45 minutes a day. That is a lot of training. That's fucking world class. That is literally world class amount of training, 45 minutes a day. So you're training as a world class athlete and you may be trying to eat 1,500 calories a day and you're wondering why you're going to be binging on fatty, greasy foods. So bottom line here, Katie, what you want to do is you want to eat as much as you want, carbohydrates, fruit being the best, failing that, the steamed potatoes, steamed rice, low salt or better, no salt. The fruits is going to be your best. That's why, you know, like I've done all my experimentation. Fruits are the best. Here, up here. Fruits king and queen for health, vitality, weight loss, athletic performance. Fruit is the best you can get. You just got to get enough calories from that, and that can be very hard if you're not living in a good place. So that's my advice is get smashing as many calories as you want. Eat, eat 5,000 calories a day. Eat 8,000 calories a day if you, if you care for. Eat, eat as much as you want. Never, ever limit. Only count calories so you get to eat as much as you want. Count calories so you know you're getting enough. Eat unlimited. Don't do little like, oh, no, no. Eat as much as you want. If you want to live as much as you want, eat as much as you want. If you want to stay that way from the foods that make you feel shit, eat as much of the good stuff as you want. Unlimited. Unlimited. Anyone says fruit makes you fat, look at me. Look at Doug Graham. Look at Roger Hesker. Look at all the skinny people out there. People say, oh, Doug Graham says eat too much fruit, but Doug Graham's too skinny. A fruit makes you fat, but Roger Hesker, he looks like a scrawny 14-year-old schoolboy with his shirt off. I'm doing right, you look like anorexic, but fruit makes you fat. Here's the thing, <laughs> fruit makes you fat, doesn't it? Look at Freely, oh, Freely looks like a lollipop head. Oh, Freely is too much fruit. Too much fructose makes you fat. Freely doesn't know what she's talking about. Fruit makes you fat, but Freely's too skinny. You know what I mean? It's crazy stuff, crazy stuff. So eat as much as you want, definitely. And coming to Australia, come to Australia if you've got a lot of money because <laughs> Australia is very expensive, way more expensive than the UK for fruit, way more expensive because we grow all our fruit locally and when you grow something locally, you can charge as much as you fucking want because there's no, there's no international competition. It's illegal to import bananas in Australia, so local farmers charge what the fuck they want. Last year, bananas were $20 US per kilogram. So that's just how it is. But, I mean, I mean, local is good and stuff, but for the consumer, local can be really fucking expensive. And then the farmers get shafted because they raise their prices, people buy less fruit, and the, people have, the farmers have to raise their prices more, people buy less and less, and it becomes this vicious cycle. So coming to Australia to, for fruit is a bad idea, unless you, unless you know some people own an organic banana farm, and they can give you some good deals, like we, we know, but Otherwise, it's really fucking challenging. So, I'd go to Thailand. I'd go to Thailand if you want to uh, if you want to travel. Go to Thailand and live on ten dollars a day because it's so cheap there. That's my tip. Bottom line: eat as many calories as you want. Cut your training back because you're doing way too much. You're training like an Olympic athlete. Cut it down to maybe five minutes jogging a day, and then build it up over the next five years. And and that's simple as that. Otherwise, you're just going to burn out, and you're going to end back up on the on the, on those other you know, forums like give it to me raw and stuff. And go, oh, what do I do? So that's bottom line. Five year plan. That's it. Raise your training ten percent per week. And uh, if you're new to jogging, I mean, you might be an Olympic athlete. I don't know because you haven't really said how much your, your your what your height is. So you could be four foot two, or you could be six foot five. So 
you know, we, we don't we don't have your body mass index there, so it's hard to estimate. But either way, either way, if you're new to running, give it five years before you start doing 45 minutes a day, because that's Olympic. I train with Olympic runners, and 45 minutes a day, that's what they're doing. You know, that's that's a lot of running. That's fucking. Even some of them aren't do, averaging 45 minutes a day. That's that's a lot of running, man. 45 minutes a day. That's fucking huge. And I couldn't even do that. That's. That's a lot. I mean, I'd, I'd uh, yeah, that's a lot of running. It's 45 minutes a day cycling, yeah, you can do that because it's low impact, but that much running, man, that's a lot. So I'd maybe invest in a bicycle and, and jump on the bike and slowly build up the running, assuming that you don't have a base in it. But that's, that's, so that's my advice. Unlimited calories, training, 10% per week increases, build up the volume of 10% per week. So if you've done 10 miles this week, next week will be 11 miles, so, so, so. And just go with that. Um... Eat as many carbs as you want. Keep salt down low or no. And go, go, go. That's simple as that, man. It's all. It's just basically the stuff that you'd know. If in doubt, just think, ask what would Duran Rodder do? And there you go. That's your answer. Thanks for watching. Post your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. If you have any questions you want answered, post your, post your questions down below and let's see if we can get to yours. And I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.